Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You could say Mike Copeland is a pretty busy guy. We need more commercial in this city. He's the mayor of Olathe, Kansas, the fifth largest city in the state and one of the fastest growing in the country. He's held that job longer than any mayor in the city's history. He also works in the shadow of the state capitol in Topeka, where he's the deputy secretary for the Kansas Department of Commerce. She was very impressed. With You'd think helping build the economy of the state and overseeing an entire city government are pretty important jobs, but Mike will tell you about his most important job. <laughs> oh, you tricked me! You stinker! He's a dad and a husband and cherishes nights like this when the family can spend time together having fun. So it came as a shock when one day during a routine visit with his doctor, he found out he had a serious heart problem. I was born with a bicuspid valve okay. and found out about it last May. Uh, played high school and college football, track. We're just now finding out about this when I'm 51. His doctor recommended he have that valve replaced, but that defective valve had also damaged part of his aortic valve and the aortic root. All three had to be replaced, a very risky and rare procedure. Mike and his wife, Maria, began looking at their options and thought they'd have to go out of town to have it done greatly disrupting their family. Well, Mike was really at first very like, you know, this is my heart. We should go to where the best is. We should go to Cleveland or Mayo. And we could have probably gotten into either of those places. Well, I looked at, that's important, but not so much important to me. I looked at more of the outcomes, you know, mortality rates, you know, those outcomes about hospital-borne infection, things that matter to me. And I found out that University of Kansas hospitals outcomes are identical to Mayo's. They just do great work and have impressive outcomes among the best in the country. So why go to Mayo? You're not getting any better care. You're getting the same quality care here at the University of Kansas and you don't have to disrupt the family. As we kept reading more about it and then learning more about the fact that KU's hospital is right here. They have this whole new advanced heart care center. When we first met our, uh, our surgeon, Dr. Muehlbach, it was, it was a really great meeting. Our goal here is to try to reassure people that this is something we're comfortable doing. It's something we're doing on a regular basis and we have excellent outcomes. And I think that's what makes the difference. It's common for us at KU to see this, this association of a bicuspid aortic valve and an aortic aneurysm uh, because of the complexity of the operation that's required. So it's not something that's common in the general population, but for me, what I see, this is a, a common finding or a common operation. Dr. Muehlbach told the Copelands that the operation could take from five to 10 hours, depending on what they found after starting the surgery. The hardest part for Maria was waiting to hear which it would be. The nurse updated her often. She came out, she showed me what they were putting inside of Mike. They showed me, she brought me an actual Dacron tube that they are gonna use for his ascending aorta. They showed me what the tissue valve looks like, an actual tissue valve, not the one he would have, but what they look like. So that was helpful because I felt like I was a part of what he was going through. So finally she comes out and I decide this time I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. And so she says, well, I do have an update. He's not going to have to do the total circ. And really I melted. I cried for quite a while. And, uh, but after that, the whole thing was fine. The whole day went smoothly and it went so much quicker and I felt like I could breathe. After the surgery, Maria came back to visit Mike and was amazed at how good he looked and how awake he was. She even recorded a video greeting from Mike to their three children. Everything went well tonight, today. I appreciate your prayer so much. Within five days, Mike came home, much quicker than the 10 days he'd heard it could take with other programs. With rehab, he was able to ease back to some work from home after two weeks and Mike was back to work in four weeks. It was pretty impressive just to think that you had this huge procedure and that you're home in a week. And the being home factor was so important. I don't know how people can, I'm sure those other hospitals are great, but I could not imagine trying to drive him home after having something like that or try and get him through an airport, you know, in a week or two, or I don't know how quickly you can come home when you have something like that happen somewhere else. The Copelands are so grateful to Dr. Muehlbach and his whole team they wanted to send a video message to him. Honey, you know, most people read in comic books about Superman. They see movies about Superman. We are so fortunate. We've actually met him. We've met him. 
Superman, thank you so much. You have done such a great, great job. Uh, you did a wonderful job helping prepare me for an extraordinary event in my life. And you were very kind and compassionate. And we're so fortunate to have you here in Kansas City at the University of Kansas Hospital, mm -hmm. caring for those of us who uh, have a need for the wonderful Superman, Dr. Greg Muehlbach. Thank you so much for being so kind and wonderful to my family. <laughs> it's very nice. Perfect. They're a great couple, aren't they? For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Bob Hallinan.